Chambers, Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, doing another GTA San Andreas walkthrough video. This video is the next mission given to CJ by the truth, and it involves the jetpack CJ stole in the Black Project mission. Now, the jetpack is actually a nice little bit of equipment that can be used to uh, gather the horseshoes in Las Venturas, which I will do in the future. But this mission, it's kind of, I mean, interesting and easy to do, and I'll explain to you as we go along in the mission. Damn, where is this fool? Whoa, shit! Hey, man, look out! Oh. Oh. Uh. The new age begins here! Say what? Not all fantastic things are lies, Carl. Today we'll know everything! Oh, I can hardly wait. I hear knowledge is truly sacred in this part of the world. Man, I've tried, but I can't fight for shit. You better do it. Land on the train, kill the guards, get in and steal the stuff. Oh, yeah? What stuff? I don't know yet. Oh, <laughs> you don't know yet. I was starting to think you was a lunatic. What you mean you don't know yet? You'll be stealing the answer. Look, fly the jetpack, land on the train, and steal whatever they least want us to get. Shh. Listen. They're coming. We better go. Peace on Earth, dude. CJ is supposed to fly j the jetpack over a train and steal whatever. I mean, it's very vague, but one of the things I've found having done this mission a couple of times in playing this game when I had it for PlayStation 2 is the best thing to do is simply let the train come to you in a sense but you want to get far enough into Las Venturas to where you see the plane and you may have to shoot some guards on the train but as the train comes to you you start shooting guards and then I'll explain once the train has arrived how to land on it and go from there here is the train coming, so let's get CJ in position. You want this, huh? Good day, man. What you want to do is hover just around the train or near it, even landing on it, and just sticking around the train. You get too much altitude, and CJ gets a little out of control with the jetpack. And so just staying above the train slightly, landing on it, or even just you know hovering above it will keep CJ in line. Now, landing on the train, you can kind of bunny hop using the jetpack over the crates and shoot at the guards and shoot at the crates. Now, the train is continually moving, so you kind of want to get on top of the train and walk. you got to get through the tunnel here because you can't fly over anything when the train is in the tunnel. And what you want to also do is, after shooting the guards... You want to shoot the crates really to find out me? what's in them. Now I'm going to bunny hop over this tank here a little bit really and try and shoot the guards as well as the crates. And it will tell you if the crate is empty. And when you get down by a crate here, you just want to shoot it with the machine gun and it will probably end up being empty. I or if it has something, well, there you go. 
and you kind of want to just, like I said, bunny hop around the train and stick close to it and keep up with it, jumping Come on and off if you need to. In this case, I'm moving forward toward the crate that is further up and shooting the guard and whatever. If you get too high, use the left trigger to bring yourself down. But now I'm going to try and bunny hop over the train and stick close to it while I move forward toward the last crate. And once I'm landing, you can walk. You just don't want to hit the triggers on the jetpack when you're walking. Otherwise, you're going to fly up like I just did. And even when you fire the gun, you tend to fly up. So the... Whatever it is that is in the train, you just kind of get back onto the train and again walk toward the crate. In this case, I'm going to get CJ to get toward the thing and bring it back to the truth. Okay, once you bring it back to the airfield, you can land and just walk into the red circle for the end of the mission. You got it, man? I got something. Let me see. Ooh, everything is different now. What is it? Everything. They will call this Year Zero. I'll be in touch. Wait! What is... Yeah, see you around. After this mission, the airport becomes an asset and earns CJ money. Hey, the jetpack is really good when you're flying around and collecting money from your assets. Now, this mission pays 20000 and the jetpack is now permanently located at the airport here, right here in next to the garage. And again, the jetpack is a very useful thing, and it will always respawn even if you abandon it somewhere, like the airplane in the hangar, it's yours. And now I'm trying to get CJ's uh, body armor back up with the body armor at the third wrecked airplane here. But that is the mission Green Goo. And it's fairly easy, fairly straightforward. Uh, if you like the video, hit the like button. If you like this type of video that I'm putting out, hit the subscribe button. Because subscribing costs you nothing and It'll only put my video in your feed, and you can ignore it or play it whenever you want. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. As always, thanks for stopping by.